Hi, this is Shiva Rajaya from VitalCoaching.com and we are talking about vital sex or tantric sex. The topic for this video is why preserve your sexual energy. This video is for both men and women, but a little bit more geared towards men. What I mean by preserving your sexual energy is that you don't lose semen, you don't ejaculate during sex. This is one of the core, most powerful mysteries that we have around using our sexual energy in ways that are really enhancing and uplifting for our bodies and our minds. I'm going to talk a little bit about my personal experience about not ejaculating, what happens in my system when I lose semen and what happens when I don't. So, the, the thing to understand is that every body is different. It means that certain men will react to ejaculation in different ways than other men. Not everybody will have the same energetic or emotional reaction. It depends on your lifestyle, on other aspects of how you engage with sex. And uh, what is important to understand is that not everybody is the same. That's the first element. The second element is that even though not everybody is the same, there are still some general trends. And um, the trend is this. When you ejaculate or when you lose semen, you are going to probably enter into what we call a refraction time during which your energy will be depleted. What happens typically after you ejaculate, when you are having sex, you fall asleep and you go to dream, okay? It means that usually after ejaculating, you're not going to keep on going and having sex or keep on doing lots of very active things. Most of the times what happens is that you fall asleep, you feel tired, you feel like your, your, your body needs to regenerate. And so in French, we use the term little death, la petite mort, for this refraction time, for what happens when you ejaculate. Uh, this refraction period or refraction time, you can also call it the after sex effect. That's my favorite way of, uh, of calling it. And what it means is really that you enter into this refraction time where you are energy depleted. And this energy depletion, you know, according to the latest studies, it looks like it could last for about three weeks. So you might say, wow, three weeks is not just a couple of hours, okay? It's not just a couple of days. It's like the period is much longer. So what it means is that your energy drops and then eventually it starts rebuilding itself, rebuilding, rebuilding, rebuilding. And maybe after three weeks, you start entering into this plateau, this area where you are back to your full power. What this means, if you really check on your sexual life, is that if you are ejaculating once a week, for instance, you are in a state of being energy depleted most of the time. And uh, what would happen if you didn't ejaculate at all for an extended period of time, for three months, six months, or a year? Most people, most men don't even know because they never tried. So here is the thing. This is something to uh, give you inspiration, encourage you to give it a try if you're curious about it. My life personally radically changed when I started uh, preserving my sexual energy. When I stopped ejaculating, when having sex, suddenly I noticed like lots of good stuff was happening. The first thing has to do with body, energy level and health. The second one has to do with my mind, the, you know, the creative power, all sorts of things that are happening on that level. Um, the third one has to do with energetic power, emotional power. Like the typical thing that was happening to me after, after sex is to be in this space where I feel extremely emotionally vulnerable. I feel like I need way more care, way more nurturing. And uh, something hits me, you know, somebody might uh, say something a bit nasty to me. I would be much more receptive to that and have less resistance, less power to protect myself to uh, this kind of psychic or energetic attacks. So... What happens once you start, you know, building up sexual energy and not ejaculating? Well, what tends to happen is that 
the sexual energy that is usually concentrated in the genital area in lower chakras starts really rising through your whole body and your whole system. It means that sexual energy starts permeating your whole being and especially when it comes to spiritual experiences then suddenly you start having boosts of energy in your heart, your throat and your third eye. Your creative power is just expanded. Your vision or your awareness about life suddenly becomes way way more than before and basically what happens is like you, you are energetically and emotionally charged uh, much more than, than before. So this is just to give you a, a few, you know, a few hints. It's just a five minute video. We could spend a whole week of training on that specific topic. Okay, if I had a tribe of men right here with me, then and if we would dive into this topic. It's endless, you know, in terms of techniques, how you do it, how you manage it, how you train or uh, get help from your, your girlfriend or your wife. How do you sustain it on the long term? Is it okay to ejaculate every now and then? You know, all these questions, I'm going to try to cover some of them in the, in the coming videos as well. But this is the hint, okay? It's important. It matters. If you ejaculate or if you don't ejaculate in your life, it's two very different things. It's like drinking alcohol or not drinking, smoking or not smoking, ejaculating or not ejaculating. This is one of the core life choices that you can make in your life that can make a huge, huge difference. That's the message for now. Have fun. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.